So we have our adaptive components placed in the project environment. See them there. And you can also see them over here in the project browser. They're under the category generic models because that's uh, the, the basic template that they're built on top of the generic models. You can change that to other categories too. But for this, I'm just going to leave it there. And uh, I've just remembered that one of the things that I want to do is I want to make sure that this thing is always flat. You know, I don't want my frame to start wonking out in this sort of way where, you know, that's, that's not a flat panel. It's not a great frame. So I'm going to go back into my family for just a second to make one change that I forgot to do, which is I'm going to get all of my shape handle points like that. And if you go into their properties, you can see that there's a constrained parameter. Right now they have no constraints. And I want these guys to all be flat, which means I want all four of these points to always be in the same plane. And what I'd like them to be is always in the same plane as this point. So I'm going to constrain them to reference level. And what that means is that it's going to take its cues for what to stay planar to, to from the reference level of this point which is essentially going to be the horizontal plane that you see here. So if I load this back into the project, over at the existing, I'm going to place another couple instances of it. <coughs> doesn't really look any different, except when I go to pull it out, it's always going to stay constrained to that sort of planar arrangement, which is good if I go in and I take it and I place it on this point uh, if I place that point on this line, you can see that I've got my guy that just sort of snaps to attention there. And I can move it along this line. But more importantly, I can zoom in on it. I can grab these points and I can pick a new host for them. Pick a new host and it snaps to that line. You see that when I snap to that line, I can snap sort of anywhere here but it's always going to remain parallel to the point that it's constrained to. So I'm going to pick out here, and it's going to stay on that line. I'm going to walk around and do that to all of these lines. Pick a new host. Oops. I remember why this isn't working quite right. What did I snap it to? Do, 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 do. Let me undo that for a second. And grab that point, pick to a new host. Bam. Okay, that one's fine. And pick to a new host. Oh, there. I think I just picked the wrong thing. Now you can see it's starting to take that same shape that we saw uh, here, where you've got your frame that is conforming to this sort of rig. So the other thing I can do is that now I've got this guy set up on the line. I can manually copy it. Uh, so I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit Control, which then will be putting me in a copy drag mode. And I can just copy it along. And you can see how it's transforming as it goes along those lines. So where I want it to stay vertical, it's staying vertical. And where it is wonking out and following those lines, it's wonking out and following those lines. And I'm going to get rid of that guy. And <clears throat> if I change a little bit about my design intent, so these lines are hosted on these levels. I can drag this up a little bit, change my relationship, and everything moves with it, everything flexes. I can go in and I can grab this guy and I can move it around and everything moves with it just fine. But I can also, so I've just got like this sort of spaghetti model now, right? So same as you would with any other family, you'd sort of do a, a low res version and then go back in and hang your real geometry on stuff. So I'm actually going to go back in and I'm going to hide some of my guidelines. Yeah. So now I've got, I'll hide that one too. 
so now I've got this sort of rig that I made from before. I'm going to turn that into reference geometry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that now to host my lines, or to host a point. I'm going to make the work plane of that point active. And I'm just going to make uh, a little frame for it. Select that. Create my form. Now I've actually got real geometry. Can load it back into the project, overwrite the existing, and shazam! I've got my whole framework set up. And that works nicely. And I can also, actually before I go and do that, I'm just going to undo that for a second. And it's also not neatly ordered along here. These guys are a little bit haphazard. Um, one thing that I can do and, well, I guess I could just do it this way. I'm going to select that point. I'm going to make it visible. And I'm going to make my geometry invisible for a minute. So, make it not visible. Load it into the project. Overwrite the existing. Just so I can see my points. So those are all my, my basic reference points. I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this into a reference line. And I'm going to do some measurements where along that line I'm just going to go dimension to each one of these points. And let's just say I want to make them equal. So now I've got all of my points equally spaced. And now I can just go back in and I'm going to turn my geometry back on so you can see it. Load it into the project, overwrite existing. And then you've got your equally spaced frame. And you can take all of your lines and extend them out if you want to make the whole thing longer, what have you. But I think you get the idea for basically doing the same kind of operation that was previously, I think, pretty hard but uh, becomes a lot more approachable, I think, now. And I'm going to do this one and then let you go. And I hope that was informative and fun. Have a good night. Thanks.